uh, business engagement is, is, is very important because, um, it, it, and particularly when, when women are working in, in companies, um, it, it, is a, it is a wonderful way for people to understand um, how important it is to access whatever benefits are available in the corporate setting to, to stay healthier and uh, to understand what um, early detection sort of um, uh, need, needs to be embraced to make sure that, that, that a woman and her family have, have the greatest chance of living the longest and healthiest life. I think businesses have a real opportunity of setting standards uh, for, for appropriate, uh, the highest standards of care and um, appropriate measures to take um, uh, for people to, to live longer and healthier lives. This is a this has been an amazing success story in, in developed countries and um, with, with businesses taking, taking the lead in, in getting people and employees how important it is to understand in the role they have in their own individual health, safety, and uh, in living longer. Well, again, it was very important. This is subject is, is often taboo in many countries and people are afraid to say even say the words breast cancer out loud, and so it gives um, it, it really gives sort of a um, um, an atmosphere of, of being accepted as as a very common disease that it is appropriate and culturally appropriate to discuss it, and and to find and access care. Um, we find that when women can stay in a continuum of care, when they can be introduced to how to prevent whether it's a communicable disease or a, communi uh, or a non-communicable disease, and, and there are strategies introduced in the workplace for how to do that, things go much better. Uh, breast cancer in, in the United States, in all diseases now, there is a survivability of almost 80% for all forms of breast cancer, even more advanced disease. And in early breast cancer, there's a 98% survival rate, a five-year survival rate when women uh, access screening and early detection uh, and, and the disease is found early. So it's really important in a global setting um, that companies understand the culture in which um, they are in and, and how important it is to outreach uh, as, as one of the influencers in, in a country. Yeah, so in so many countries, of course, um, and particularly that are a little lower on the development uh, People are working very hard just to survive and, and are afraid of, of, of having treatment or even seeing a physician or even a nurse practitioner because they're worried, if I have a disease, who's going to take care of me? What am I going to do? And so if a woman is given strategies um, and, and, and treated in a way uh, where she's welcomed, received, and educated, it all goes much, much better. She's much more willing, and, and since most women all over the world have the greatest responsibility for the care of their families, their husbands, their children, um, their partners, they, they need to be educated, and they need to be, um, in, in a way, the family advisor about what to do and where to go. And in, in clinics in low-resource communities, when we provide patient navigators for people to go and, and be able to understand how they navigate their care, Things just go a lot better. People live longer. Uh, this is the way we can afford to treat and deal with chronic disease uh, all over the world. Well, developing the toolkits is, is a huge step forward because people need very specific behavior and actions before they can actually do something to affect the outcome of a disease. And having a toolkit allows people to be trained, to have something to work with, to understand what they need to do to work with employees and what the employees need to do and, and can um, provide screening programs, clinical breast exams, um, all of the parts of early detection that need to happen uh, in order to treat this disease the most successfully. In many cases, 60 to 70 percent of the breast cancer in this world is developing in countries and regions with less than 5 percent of the resources to treat it. And this can be very destabilizing. We, we have to make a huge difference uh, around the world now in a short amount of time. And this is one of the most effective strategies developing a toolkit. Well, we at Susan G. Coleman for the Cure are very excited about working across others' platforms. You know, we initiated with, with four other 
multinational organizations, Pink Ribbon, Red Ribbon, uh, which, where we will begin to address cervical screening and breast uh, clinical exams in the PEPFAR clinics in Sub-Saharan Africa and, and other countries and potentially in Latin America. Um, and this can be done with any disease platform. We must learn to treat the whole patient, the, the woman or man, holistically. And it is much easier to get people to a clinic and perform a number of, of early diagnostic procedures. Breast cancer is no different. The earlier we educate, the earlier we get to the disease and the more we educate people, the better the outcome will be. Yes, and, and for example, in, in Egypt, where and, and we have 150 what we call races for the cure, which are events that are people walk and run, and really what they do is convene, and they share their hope, they share their survival, survivor messages, and also sometimes their fears, but they become more educated and empowered about dealing with the disease, and they know they're part of a community. It's very important to make women feel part of the community, such as what happened in Egypt, I think it was two years before the revolution. Everyone said, you'll never get enough women to convene here. And, and they were wrong. 7,000 women came the first year. The second year we had it, 15,000 came. And we know it would have grown and grown and grown and will as soon as the uh, situation there is more stable, which it's, it's becoming. Um, and we lit the pyramids pink. It was very important to create an I iconic uh, symbol for people that there's hope. And, and to be able to, to celebrate that, share that in a country, honor the culture of the country, and yet move forward in the detection of a very aggressive disease.